what's going on guys how's everybody doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking to body beat down here on this friday evening it is 7 49 p.m i already got my workout done got my supper done you can go check out the video from that earlier uh from this evening and uh uploaded a picture of my supper onto my uh, little community tab page you can go check it out beautiful supper um, I, I originally had this discussion uh, attached to my workout video in the very beginning opening, but it made the video extremely long. So I'm reshooting this and we're going to have it as its own separate little video. So uh, if you've been following my progress over the past three years or whatever it's been now, I started working out early 2021. Uh, if you started kind of looking at my stuff, my older workouts and stuff, you'll notice uh my deadlifts which we're going to be talking about 99.999 percent right here my deadlifts uh i started out doing kind of your normal everyday standard deadlift where you know you kind of squat down grab the bar and pull it up your legs and stand up and go back down etc that's kind of how i started out doing my deadlifts and somewhere along the way uh, i started doing more of a stiff leg deadlift and uh, I've been doing those uh, for a long time now. So, if you've been following along, you also know that at one time, uh, my goal was I just wanted to pull 400 pounds. 400, 405, whatever. And uh, although I don't recall saying that, I know I did because I watched a video where I said it. Uh, I do know that I had a long-term goal at some point in time. 500 pounds now I never thought I was gonna get there in a million years and I gave up a few times didn't give up and stop working out you know doing the deadlifts but I gave up feeling like I was gonna get there but I kept at it and kept at it and kept at it and eventually I hit my long-term 500 pound goal uh, just this past New Year's Eve and a uh, good little video you can go check it out it's always nice to go back and check things out like that and you get to see my enthusiasm for finally reaching a goal that I gave up on many times. So, this, this video here is kind of me coming to terms with things and kind of where I'm at with my workout and kind of where I'm at with my mind and kind of where I'm at kind of with my body and everything. And uh, I... I, I I kind of, again, if you've kept up with me, you know that I've said, you know, in the beginning, one and done. If I can get this weight one time, I'm good. I can be done and never worry about it again. And that's easier said than done, which is the case with my deadlifts. And that's why I've pulled 500 pounds from the floor about four or five times. And I've pulled it from a two-inch elevated uh elevation over there on my rack about three or four times maybe and uh, so it's 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 kind of hard to do something like that and know you busted your butt to get there and then say okay I'm done uh, never again it, it's hard to do that and that's kind of where I've been uh, since doing that on New Year's Eve it's kind of where I've been it, you know I I didn't want to just be one and done and uh I'm really proud of myself, and I can't say that a lot with a lot of stuff in life, I don't guess, but um, something like this, this workout journey and these deadlifts are something that I'm proud of and that I blew past what I did many, many years ago. Many years ago, I topped out about 365 or so, and uh, I wasn't even doing them on a regular basis way back then I just periodically I do a deadlift but uh since I've been on this new workout journey I like to call these things journeys uh, an adventure if you will since I've been on this new workout journey I've been hitting deadlifts pretty good you know pretty much from the get-go um, and uh, to get where I'm at I just never thought I didn't know if I thought or I don't know, maybe I'm just saying I, don't, I never thought. I don't know. Because I feel like I shortchanged myself. Because when I say something, I, I usually end up getting it 
making it happen. To some degree. Some things. I, I can't fly. I can't even... I can't make that a goal to fly because I'll, I'll never fly. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so what all this is getting to, guys, is... Of course I do stiff leg deadlifts. And I think I've perfected that. <laughs> so... I think what I'm going to do is quit worrying about the 500 pound pull for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, I'm not going above 500. There's no chance. I'm at my limit. Every video you watch me pull 500, it's the hardest struggle in the world that I could be doing. Uh, some, A couple of times it's a little easier than others, but not enough to say, oh yeah, you're going to excel and go farther and farther and then other times it's like you know man well you got it just barely you got it so i don't have any plans to go any higher than 500 my goals have never been once i reach 500 <laughs> maybe i'll go to 550 or maybe i'll go to 600 there's no possible way not all of us are going to reach those goals not all of us are going to just keep climbing and keep going. There's no way I can keep going with deadlifts. Uh, number one, I'm no spring chicken. Okay, and I'm, you know, basically I'm coming into deadlifts like this new in my 50s. So, you know, not a lot of people are making that kind of progress coming brand new into their 50s and doing these kind of deadlifts. Or I know, you know that's my opinion. I don't know. So, I'm no spring chicken. Now, I don't put age as that big of an importance on anything because age is a state of mind and body, soul, physicality, whatever. So, uh, so, as far as doing heavier deadlifts and trying to follow, you know, trying to get more goals and more goals, there ain't a snowball's chance in Hades that I'm going to do that. So, num number one, because I struggle so much. And number two, because I'm wanting to follow a different path at this moment. And I think the path that I'm looking at following now is going to be uh, just trying to work on doing standard. Your standard typical deadlift. Instead of uh, the stiff leg deadlift. And uh, I'm going to go from there and... Uh, whether I pull 500 pounds with that or not, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a goal for it. And I, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is just kind of a long drawn out way of me saying I'm kind of. I've, I've been there and I'm. I feel pretty good. And I'm not really going no further. I'm not competing. I'm not gonna go compete anywhere and you know have to worry about it. I've done it a handful of times. I reached my goal, and uh, it is rough on your body. It don't matter what anybody else says, and if you have a bad body already, my back's horrible as it is, you know, shoulders, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, all the way down, I got some kind of problem, but the back, uh, the back does come into play when you're doing deadlifts. Now, I know a lot of times I'm, you know, uh, I'm up playing deadlifts. I up play deadlifts and squats and every movement, but... Even as much as I think that they're amazing, things can still happen. And uh, whatever nerve back there that has been bothering me for 25, 26, whatever years now. Whatever that is back there, it does get more inflamed when I do those deadlifts. And uh, squat's not too bad, oddly enough, if I, keep, if I don't do any crazy reps or anything. And that's why you see me anymore, kind of keeping my reps low. Um, but when it, when you go trying to put too many reps and, and too much weight on broken down bodies, you know, you get more pain than what you want to go through. I'm already in enough pain every day. You guys don't know it because I don't really show it. But uh, I'm in pain every day and it's not fun. Uh, so I think, I think from here on out, if I can make myself remember come deadlift day, uh, I'm going to try and stick to your standard uh, way of doing deadlifts. 
and just kind of see what I do from there. And if I never go up over 400 pounds, I honestly don't care. Uh, I know I can do that already, but I'm just saying it's it's not, you know, I think I, I'm just kind of ready to, to back it down on the heavy, heavy deadlifts. And I think it's time. So, and I, you know, I wanted to come to, to you know, my community and just kind of let people know that, you know, sometimes it's okay to back down a little bit. We're not always going to be, you know, pushing the limits and at the top and elite. Sometimes you got to step back a little bit and, uh, in this kind of sport here, take the weights down a little bit and prolong your longevity in the sport. Uh, and not just because of uh, body breakdown, but your mental breakdown. And uh, you don't want to get burnt out and you don't want to get broken down. So, uh, and to touch base again, any injuries I have are not from squats or deadlifts. Uh, my shoulders are bad because of two separate bench pressing incidences on two strange benches at a friend's house and at another friend's house. And then this shoulder is even worse because in early 2015, I tried playing disc golf and just kept going and going and ripping it apart and ripping it apart and soft tissue and uh, lots of uh, scar tissue in there and it just it completely uh, messed it up. And uh, right now and periodically, since I started working out again, uh, it's pain free so if I do anything stupid like shoulder presses again hard and heavy like I used to uh, that can inflame it and there it is so uh, none of my injuries are from deadlifts or squats uh, my hips my right hip I had a wipe out on my bicycle I was going down a road turned to go on to another road and it just rained and it was just a little slick out and my bike slid out and slammed on the pavement on my hip I'm surprised it didn't break but uh it hurt for over a year that kind of pain that will put you on the ground where it's like boom a knife just jabbed inside of you and twisted I mean it was like that for just over a year and it finally quit one day and I was very happy and then probably 2021 2021 whatever it was I don't even remember at this point uh, of course, we were at our other house that we sold. And I was up on the kitchen counter and I thought, huh, I'm going to stretch. Stretching's good for you. So I got up on the counter and I can't move because I don't have any mobility. Ugh. But I put my left leg up here and I push down and, boom, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a good stretch. And boom, that hip did the exact same. It felt the exact same as that right hip felt. Uh, luckily, this hip healed up within like a month or so. I don't remember. It was a month or so. It was a little while. But luckily it healed up. But it was the exact same kind of pain. And it's uh, it's a very horrible pain. And uh, so anyway. So I got some aches and pains and some different things. Like carpal tunnel and arthritis and different stuff that I deal with. But uh. Yeah, again, none of it is from deadlifts or squats. Two very good movements that you should do. Uh, so anyway, it's just kind of a, a video where I just wanted to touch base with everybody and, uh, you know, let you know for me, for you, it's okay to final, to, to step back just a little bit if you, if you need to. If you're ready, if you feel like you're ready to do it, to step back just a bit, step back it's okay now as far as my squats go uh, oddly enough one of the worst exercises I've ever done in my life I'm all of a sudden good at so uh, I'm actually progressing at that a little slowly but I'm still progressing I don't know how much further up I'll go I have no idea how much further my body will let me go so right now I've done one rep at 425 and uh I never had any goals really to keep going. My goal is to one day have a 405 pound squat and I've done that many, many times now over the past, you know, handful of months now, whatever it's been. And I've slowly worked my way up to 425 and so I'm not, I'm not ready to 
to slack off on my squats yet, and uh, but I'm not. I don't know how far I'm going. I don't have a. I don't have a goal. I'm just kind of adding a little bit here and there and just seeing what happens. And uh, with my bench press, we all know if you've been keeping up for any amount of time, you know what the deal is with that. I don't have any safety spotter arms. I don't have a full cage where I can bench inside with safety arms. I don't have uh, people here that all the time that's wanting to spot me. My kids don't like to really do it. I guess they get nervous or they don't want to do it or whatever. I don't know. So I don't like to have people do it really if they don't want to do it because... You know, if if they're just not really caring, how, how are they going to help me get 400 pounds off of me if I get stuck? So, you know, I don't know. And uh, I don't want to try that much by myself because I don't want to get 400 pounds stuck on me. <laughs> and I sure don't want to have to try and rock it off on me because I got drums and stuff over here and I got collectibles up on the wall over here and we all know what that bar is going to do. So... Uh, but this summer, this summer, uh, when I'm at a, when we're out of school and, uh, this summer I'm going to try and make myself go for my 405 pound bench. So, uh, we're going to see what we do and it's just a matter of time and, uh, you know, that's why you see these same videos, you know, I'm benching this and I'm benching this and you just bench that, yeah, but I'm benching this again, I'm benching it again and, you know, I'm trying to build up some muscle. I'm trying to build up some stamina. I'm trying to build up some confidence. I'm trying to build up, you know, okay, this is how it feels. And this is how I'm going to do. And this is what it's like. And so, you know, you got to be prepared for stuff like that. And uh, I don't have any goals after 405 from my bench. And if I get it, then it's one and done. If not, well, then we still got work to do. So this video's went on long enough for almost at 20 minutes, and I apologize for that. But, you know, it's a good time for us to connect and uh, talk about things that need to be talked about. So, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, if you'd like, you know, go check out all my videos. i got enough videos to last you a lifetime. And uh, you can go follow my little adventure that I've been on for the past three years. And uh, while you do that, and after you do that, and therefore too far and thereafter... Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael. Your rambling on host. How you doing? Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Have a good night. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. <laughs>